Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Saturday, and that means we're using u Bell Injector. So, still adjusting to the new mic. Uh, may not sound different to, to you guys, but to me, it definitely sounds different. But yeah. And that my idiot ass, because I'm a freaking idiot, and I pretty much thought that my, uh, my headset ran on fucking magic. <laughs> Um, didn't read the instructions, um, I was pretty much just took it out of the box, I saw that it had a little USB, plugged that into the computer, put my headphones on, and I was just like, yeah, hell yeah, we're fucking ready to go, we don't need no fucking instructions, so, uh, I was sitting there watching some YouTube videos, and all of a sudden the sound just cut off, and I'm like, what the heck, are my freaking new headphones broke already, like, I didn't even do anything, and they're already broke, like, this is some bullshit, and then I was like, wait a minute, the headphones don't plug, don't have any back. How, how are these things, you know, running <laughs> by themselves? Did they just run on magic? So I thought about it, and I was like, let me go check the box again. Open up the box. Apparently, they have a USB plug, so apparently you got to charge the headphones for, if you want them to be wireless. Do -do -do, Daniel! <laughs> so, uh, I ended up... Uh, Charging them, and, and pretty much it's alright because it's all like, oh yay, I I I'm not tethered down to my computer because I don't have a I don't have like a laptop, I have a desktop. So I'm not tethered down to my computer. I don't have to like take my headphones off to uh. I don't have to take my headphones off to uh, you know, do something. I could just you know, get up and go walk away. Yeah, now my headphones have to charge, and really. It doesn't really bother me. It's not like I didn't have a, a headset that had a cord on it before, so that really doesn't bother me. But you know, whenever I want to, I can just go ahead and just take it out and go ahead and uh, I really don't want him to MST my limit verse because I, I have a feeling that that's one of those cards down there is, is an MST. So there's no point in giving him the you know the benefit of the doubt and getting able to just you know psh, my card. So oh, it's Black Wings. Okay, well this duel's gonna be a pain in the butt already. Alright, so I get cut down to 700, so he attacks me and I take 600. Oh, oh, attack right here. Never mind, this duel's gonna be a pain in the dick. It's black wings. <laughs> no, that's all I had to say, like, never mind. I thought maybe we'd be doing against something, you know, I could actually pull off something against, but... No, it's black wings. So as soon as I go equip, he's gonna go Icarus and Black. Okay. The only way to outbeat Black Wings at their one-up game is to out-resource them because they have low consistency. He hasn't opened up with Black Whirlwind, so low consistency. So the thing is, uh, all right. Go ahead, Icarus attack. I know you're gonna do it. And since they have low consistency, effect. Let's go for the new one. Magical cylinder. All right, this guy's trying to be the douchiest douche douche. So I pretty much just gotta throw everything in the kitchen sink at this guy. Everything in the kitchen sink. All right. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to beat this guy because he can easily out-resource me. If I equipped this, I'm still cut in half. I'm only 24, so he'll still be stronger than me, so it really doesn't matter. Because if he wants to Icarus attack his thing, destroy my two cards is fun, but I pretty much have to out-resource him, you know? His monster count-wise, low consistency. Uh, uh, back row-wise, he's just going to be keep on able to play and play and play. Oh, my God. Uh, what is that? 1850? Yeah, 1850, 1850, uh, is that 450? 450? Yeah, I think that's 450. <sighs> I had to summon a 17 monster, didn't I? So he can cut me in half and make me fuck up my math. Armageddon Knight. Okay, well, I really don't need you right now. Hmm. Sure. Nah, there's nothing I want to change. So hopefully he has another monster, like I said, or are we just going to have a back row duel? Huh, we're just going to have a back row duel. I 
I've never even seen that card. Okay. Didn't even know that card existed. This is this is this right here. This right here. This is dueling against black wings. Just keep playing until one of you run out of resources. It's the war of attrition. Because generally black wings have a lot of back row. Yay, at least I get the plus. That's a good thing. Plusing is nice. And fuck it. Leroy Jenkins hit me with back row. No, he's just gonna take it on the chin. That is really surprising. Not very often that I see a Blackwing player take something to the chin like that. Got a monster? Or am I just proving my point about Blackwings? And how inconsistent they can be. That's one of the key reasons why Black Wings don't top. Same thing with Harpies lately. Oh, you wanted to play that, but, you know, I... Yeah. Not saying that your Black Wing deck is the best Black Wing deck in the world, but, uh, yeah. Black Sonic. Alright, uh... Clearly. That's the, that's the That's the apex with this card. We know that it's like a Mirror Force D prison if I attack a Blackwing, but really, why would I attack a Blackwing? Because I'm probably assuming that you're going to have Kloot, therefore, you probably have something to block my attack anyway. Yeah, it's whatever. I'm not the master of yu gi -Mons. I'm just saying. That's the reason why Black Son Sonic didn't take off as much as it could have. Because it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of like a redundant play, you know. It's kind of like you know, potted dualing into a mirror force and then setting the mirror force and then expecting your opponent to attack. I mean, it's not that extreme, but you're pretty much telling. Like as soon as I see the black wing, all right, okay, I know that you're probably gonna collude me. Therefore, I shouldn't attack you like that. I should probably try to avoid it. Therefore, I'm gonna destroy your black wings, leaving you open. Black Wings have a low monster counter, inconsistent, you're going to run out of monsters, and that Black Sonic's going to be useless. So, you know, all those people that were like, oh, Black Sonic, yes, Black Wings tier again! No, you, if Black Wings ever want to be tier again, you got you to gotta fix the consistency. You have issues. You can have three Black World and still want to open up with it, clearly like he did, and, and then you lose. So, you know, unless you get some kind of Wing Beast Rota card, which also Herpes and you could use... I just don't see it. But, hey, what do I know, right? I know that this hand is poopy. <laughs> I know that, that I pretty much can't do shit with this hand. Yes. It's Gen, that was actually my... It was like Gen Waku. It was, it was the old account, but yes. Uh, of course, I made Evil Mastery. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, cybers. Uh, there's a good chance they could probably OTK the fuck out of me. Oh, Cyber Network. Another card that's not spectacular. You know, I thought you were going to search for the repair plant, but I guess you can't play it right now since... You don't have anything in the graveyard, but... I don't even want to attack. Activate pot then. We got a lot of setup to do. Armageddon Knight, you're in my hand. You're in my fucking hand so damn fast. I'll even save the rota. I'll even save the rota for later. Because I might need that later. I'll just take the Armageddon Knight. Now I'm good. I will normal summon. Set. I'm going to drop you, Bell. Okay, note to my effect, so you so you have a response. 
I think he's confused. I think he thinks that I mean effect as in you got a response, and then he means no. But no, it's effect as in is my effect okay? And you say no, and then respond or something. But whatever. I'm again now. You search your, serve your purpose. Go ahead and attack. You get honest. I don't care. You get anything. I don't care. Armageddon Knight, once he starts his job, he he is expendable. I, mean, I love Armageddon Knight, he's my homie. I hope he doesn't go down to one like he does in the OCG. Sure. You know if you send your one guy that's outside the chain, right? That's outside the chain. No. That's outside... Chain. I declare an attack. You chain Cyber Network. Cyber Network banishes your monster. Chain resolves backwards. I attack. You can't start a whole separate chain unless the field is changed. The field is not changed, therefore my attack goes through. I declare attack. You activate Activate your network. Cyber network. Chain resolves backwards. So, you know what? I you know what? I'm really. Ah, oh, really? I don't feel like explaining it. So, just continue. I just, I'm just so tired, I just don't even want to do it. There's a, dif there's a difference with, you know, how when you're dueling against, like, some kind of artifact deck and they attack and then they activate Sanctum and Sanctum summons more attack. The reason why more attack is able to activate its effect is because the chain, is because the field has changed. Because I, I now have a monster, you have to redeclare your attack. Therefore... That opens up a slot to allow more attack to pop, but I just... Oh, I want to set this. I want to set that. And go ahead. I wanted to set that. I wasn't paying attention. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Actually, no. No, no. That's fine. No, that's not fine. No, 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 no. Fuck, Sanctum. Put that shit back. Cyber artifacts? Okay. Never seen that before. I saw someone type a comment about it in a YouTube video, but I've never seen it. But who am I to talk? You know, I play fucking cyber... I mean, I have cyber. I play fucking Constellar artifacts, so... It's much easier for me to bust out a please than it is for them to do it. Sure. Use all the networks that you want. I don't care. You destroy all your back row. You can't freaking attack. And you can't activate any of the effects. I do not care. And the scariest thing that you're going to go for is a freaking Nova. I don't care. I'll just activate Lemon Reverse and summon fucking Terror. So. What the fuck? Is it just, yeah, you can banish one light machine monster. Yeah, okay. So, artifact cyber chronomaly deck of, yeah? Okay. Okay, that's a lot to say about that. <laughs> Yo. Know. Sure. I'm gonna get a night attack. Oh, I'm weaker. I'm weaker. Never mind. I just noticed how fat that D is. I thought it was freaking 400, 400. Oh, you want to change my attack? Okay, you want to use Dre? Okay, fine. I just noticed how fat that D is. This guy's gonna be so distracted. I'm so flustered right now. I'm not even paying attention to anything. Dre again. Okay. Like I said, so far, not really impressed. You know what, I'll just go ahead and take the 100. I don't even care. 
Oh, you want to do that? Okay, well then I'll go ahead and chain. That was my bad, I didn't even follow my own damn rule. That, that's, that's less skin off my ass, I don't give a shit. Oh, it was a moral talk. Okay, so, since it was a moral talk, it would be... Uh, chain, chain, so you can go ahead and destroy. Let me see. Uh, let's see how it go. Activate that. I chain this. Activate that. That's attack. That's destroyed. Okay. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out how the chain would go. Because I, I would attack. Activate that. Summon you bell. You go destroy it. It go chain, chain. Chain resolves backwards. You bell wouldn't be summoned when that went off, but no, it would be chain, chain, so you bell wouldn't be summoned. Chain, chain. More attack. Go ahead and summon you bell. Summon. When he's summoned, pop. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Still my. My, hold on. Stop. 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 It is still my main phase 2. Since you activate all those cards, I still get to go to main phase 2. Uh, because you used... You used those cards during my battle phase. Therefore, I still get my main phase too. Okay, so I still get my main phase too. So my main phase too. I still have a normal summon, but I can't special summon any other monsters unless from the extra deck, right? Alright, then I'll just Dark Hole. I'll just Dark Hole. Okay, go ahead. So is he going to banish that to summon a uh, cyber dragon? He can banish his card from your graves, but summon a cyber dragon monster from your deck. Okay. Anything else? Anything else that you want to do? Alright, some more back row. Hit me for 21. Okay, that's fine. A normal summon. Effect. Pass. So how's this card red? 
Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, yes. Yes, because I know you're gonna fucking fuse with my ass, so... No, thank you. Fuck, come here, Tech Fortress. I don't know exactly what you're gonna do. You can see in surgery? Fuse my Cyber Dragon with your two monsters? Like, no, 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 no. What is it? Its effect is negated. Effect on the field is negated, but I resolve in the graveyard. So when you destroy me by battle, I was destroyed, I resolve in the graveyard, I still get terror, so. I don't even have Hornet in the graveyard. Ah, I opened up like shit this duel. <laughs> oh, what? Fuck it. Go ahead and normal summon. Okay. Still is taking forever. I wish this, this was the other one. The the one that increases me by a thousand, and then my opponent can activate spells and traps. Or, eh, I can't remember if it's spells and traps, I think it may be just traps, but uh, that card would be nice right now. So he's, what, 25? Attack the Cyber Dragon. If I can kill that fucker, then I don't have to fucking worry about, you know, him activating, like, another DNA surgery or something. Or I can just have a way about him activating another Sanctum. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. This duel is disgustingly hard because of the fucking artifacts. If it was just cybers, I might have been able to do something, but with the artifacts, uh, and he can go into Pleiades right now. If he goes into Pleiades, that's a game. That's a fucking game. There's no way in fuck. I, I have one card. I would have one card. I'm sitting on freaking Ubel. And if he kills that, I get terror. But if he makes a Pleiades, GG. Scoop it up. That's a wrap. <laughs> this video has been going on for long enough anyway. I know the power of artifacts, so. Trying to kill the Cyber Dragon so he wouldn't be able to activate, you know, that and, and DNA surgery and shit like that, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. Pleiades? If you're going to Pleiades, I'm at defeat right now. Yep, you got it. GG. You got it. Alright, go ahead and call it an episode. I still think that Constellar artifacts are better than Cyber Dragon artifacts, but... Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. See you guys tomorrow with Shadal Bell. Thanks for watching.